Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is happening across the tropics. And so I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at what is now Tropical Storm Nicole after becoming a hurricane and making landfall in Florida. And then we'll be looking at what is happening across the Caribbean. There's a tropical wave that recently entered the area. And then is there a chance that we could see development before the official end of the hurricane season? in the Caribbean. Well, we will be taking a look at that as well later down in this video. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. And to share support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. All right, and so let's now go ahead and start off with uh, Nicole. And so here we have the cyclone and it is going to gradually weaken as it makes its way across Florida. And so at this time, though it is no longer a hurricane, we see that conditions are widespread across not just Florida, but other parts of the southeastern U.S. And so now let's go ahead and look at the cone forecast for this. So this is still a problem for the state of Florida. And so we're seeing here that uh, Nicole is just below hurricane strength. Now winds are at 70 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour so we see that most of florida along with uh the coast of georgia and also portions of south carolina are under a tropical storm warning and those areas are feeling the tropical storm force winds because if we look at that uh that wind field the tropical storm force wind field which is that yellow region we definitely see those areas uh likely experiencing tropical storm force winds so this is an extensive cyclone however nicole is going to be entering uh, portions of the northeastern Gulf of Mexico as we head to later today. However, uh, it is not likely that we will see any re-intensification because for one, the sea surface temperatures are cooling across the northern Gulf of Mexico, which we will look at later in the video, and uh, it is not going to have a whole lot of time to really get itself together. So uh, it'll just likely be gradual weakening, but no intensification is uh, expected or likely from the coal when it makes its way over water and so it is going to be making that curve into Georgia and uh, while weakening and of course it is likely to become a depression over western South Carolina and uh, eventually be absorbed by a large extra tropical cyclone and so that is what is on the horizon for the system but of course uh, that rainfall threat is definitely still there for portions of Florida and also other areas of the southeastern U.S. and also the possibility for tornadoes as well. So that is yet another issue. And so guys, please take all necessary precautions and stay safe. And I hope that everyone is doing okay in Florida at this time. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean. And so here we are taking a look at satellite and we're seeing that there is some shower and thunderstorm activity uh, here and there. But really we see a lot of that in the vicinity of, of Venezuela and Trinidad and Tobago. So let's take a closer look at that area. And here we are seeing all of this shower and thunderstorm activity. So if you're in Trinidad, you're probably experiencing inclement weather as a result of all this activity being induced by the tropical wave that is entering the Caribbean basin right now. And uh, as for the rest of the Caribbean, most of the lesser Antilles are sort of in the clear right now, maybe some showers across some areas. And then for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, we're definitely not seeing much going on across the region. Same story for Hispaniola, Jamaica, uh, Cuba, maybe portions of central Cuba experiencing maybe some showers. Nothing major there. Same story for the Cayman Islands, but nothing major is across the region right now, aside from that tropical wave, which isn't very major either but it is inducing a lot of activity in the vicinity of uh, as I said Trinidad and Tobago and so guys this wave is going to be propagating towards the west of course and if it has a uh, a lot of activity associated with it then it'll likely bring more rainfall to some parts of northern south america and possibly other sections of the caribbean as well and as we take a look at this water vapor loop now we're seeing that we see yellows and we see whites and greens and so the yellow areas is where you would find some dry air meanwhile we have the whites the greens that indicate moisture and so where we have that moisture that's where we're going to be finding shower and thunderstorm activity so we definitely see 
some dry air that is noted across sections of the northwestern Caribbean and also sections of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. All right, and so let's now go ahead and take a look at the sea surface temperature map. And we're seeing here that uh, we have some different colors. We have the greens, we see some blues, uh, and we mainly see those yellows, oranges, and reds. And so uh, we're seeing that across the Caribbean, things are pretty warm. We see a minimum of around 20 eight degrees celsius across the region so that is uh quite warm pretty warm sea surface temperatures as for the gulf of mexico as i mentioned earlier the northern gulf is cooling and this cooling is going to be continuous as we progress towards the winter and uh overall for early next year but things will start warming up as we approach the spring and then the summer getting all intense and ready for the 2023 atlantic hurricane season but there's definitely going to be a break but uh, if we're going to be having any development in the caribbean one thing that is definitely there in terms of favorability is the sea surface temperatures but of course other factors such as humidity and uh the upper level winds also play a role in tropical cyclone development and intensity and so now I want to drift to something that the uh, Climate Prediction Center is showing. So this was issued on the 8th of November and uh, we're focusing on week two between November 16th to November 22nd. And we're seeing here that across portions of the Western Caribbean, we see that highlighted area, we see that green and red shade. And so the green indicates above average rainfall, but that highlighted red area is indicating a chance, a minimum chance at that of us seeing some development within this area. And it is certainly not impossible because at this time of year, we typically look for cyclones from the South Caribbean as their area of origin. But as we progress through November, we don't really have a whole lot happening. So that is quite interesting here. And I know that the GFS was sniffing at something uh, developing in the area as well. But of course, it is too early to tell. But you Usually the Climate Prediction Center is a little bit spot on with when to expect development and where. So let's see if something is going to be happening and of course if models start trending towards this happening then we know that there is more of a possibility of it actually happening. So that is something that we'll definitely have to wait and see uh, if, it, if it is going to be happening but we also see other areas such as the Lesser Antilles, mainly the Windward Islands and parts of South America highlighted in that green shade for above average rainfall within that uh, time frame as well. So uh, you might want to be on the lookout for that happening. And of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated once it is necessary. And so that is really it for now. And so again, guys, we have Nicole, which is slowly weakening. That is still a problem for sections of the U.S. And uh, the tropical wave is entering the Caribbean region and inducing quite a bit of activity across sections of Venezuela and Trinidad and Tobago. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.